Hey everybody, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. Let's, let's do this for Let's do it right now. Oh man, you guys, I, I love beer, like a lot. And I love it across the board. Ain't nothing like a frosty foam top slowly dancing down your gullet. And I'm talking anytime, anywhere. Pale, lambic, lager, wheat, stout, homebrew, microbrews, freaking Bud Light Lime. I don't care. I don't discriminate. Put it in my body. Hey, Elliot, you like beer? Love it. Great. You guys, you like beer? Of course you do, if you're of age. Wink. And now we got some news for you. Japanese scientists got down and dirty with some beer and have discovered that it just might help defeat the common cold. This was a study financed by Sapporo, which is a delicious Japanese beer that you can buy typically at any sushi place. I don't discriminate. Hey, Sapporo, take the esophagus train down to my Billyville. But hold up, it's not the beer as a whole, so don't go knocking out keg stands when the weather turns. The cold fighter is a chemical compound found in hops called humulone. Humulone is found in the resin of mature hops and gifts you a beer with that bitter taste. This is the stuff responsible for your bitter beer face. Hey, Elliot, do your best bitter beer face. Mmm. Frightening. Disgusting. That's bitter. Delicious. Mmm. I love the taste. Turns out this stuff puts up a good fight against respiratory syncytial virus, which has been linked to cold-like symptoms. But here's the catch, my college-age friends. You have to ingest a poker night with the buddies amount of alcohol to reach antiviral levels. That's 360 ounces, Joe. Or 30 bottles of delicious moose drool. Because the results were acquired through a beer company study, it should put up a red flag that screams, hey! Of course they're gonna say beer is good for you. It's like Foster Farms saying chicken's good for your complexion. Or Taco Bell saying diarrhea is fantastic for your digestive system. Is it? No. Okay. We don't know. But here's the thing. These scientists don't want you to drink copious amounts of alcohol. They want to take the humulone and infuse it into everyday foods and non-alcoholic beverages, which I'm fine with as long as I'm not bitter beer facing when I bite into my steaks. Bitter beer facing when I bite into my steaks. Bitter beer face when I bite into my steaks. Bitter beer face when I bite into my steaks. Bitter beer face when I bite into my steaks. Bitter beer face when I bite into Bitter beer face when I jump into my steak. Bitter beer face when I bite into Here's some more fun facts about beer. Dark beers provide several different B vitamins and calcium, magnesium, and selenium, which helps the immune system fight off nasty infections. Also, I love yingling. Yeah, you do. I do. Another thing, IPAs make my mouth happy and out of all beers retain healthy daily doses of silicon that help strengthen bones. Yum. I do love some IPAs. Oh. <sighs> so what's your favorite beer? If you're not allowed to partake, what's your favorite root beer? If you can't enjoy either, what's your favorite mountain range? Why not? Let us know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, click this annotation for our five daily stories, and you can go to sourcefed.com to be fed sources of news throughout the day. My name is Elliot Morgan. My name is Joe Beretta. All right. Drink responsibly. Okay. Or not. Good to hear. Keep in mind, Roger there's going to be another study that totally counteracts everything that we've just said. Because it's a study. Keep yep. in mind, science is an evolving thing, especially science that's funded by companies that have you know, their own best interests. Special interests. In yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All beer's so good. It's delicious. <laughs>